Now, what I want to see for XRP, right, is one more pullback down to like around these levels. Um, then I may buy more XRP and open a leverage long, guys, right? And it just happened, guys. Wait, look at that. Now, did I just buy more XRP? No, right? I'm still waiting a little bit longer to see what happens. Um, I just wish I had more money at this point, but it's okay. Um, but we are at this level, guys. I, the one thing I do wish is that they just took these lows very, very swiftly, right? But will they? Will they not? Who knows, guys, right? I guess it depends on Bitcoin right now. If it dumps, XRP will follow it. So I'm just waiting it out just a little bit longer to see what happens next. Now, in today's video, it's, it's mainly bearish, guys, but not in the short term, more so in the medium term, okay? And, 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 and this coming Black Swan event, which will take the world by storm. Now, check this out, okay? Amazon Insider Trading Alert. Founder Jeff Bezos just sold $80 million, guys, right? To this year alone, he sold over $10 billion worth of shares, guys, worth of his own shares, right? Not to mention, all these executives are selling what's happening. You let me know. Uh, Mark Stevens, the second largest NVIDIA shareholder and board member since 2008, just sold $104 million worth of NVIDIA shares. Then, the CEO of NVIDIA sold $31 million, guys, recently as well. Right, so these people are on a selling spree. Now the reason being is because maybe maybe these stocks are getting overbought, right? Maybe it's heading towards that blow off top moment, right? Um, each time these people have sold, I mean, some points have marked the top, but but look but look at this clearly. Look look at all these sells, okay? Before what happens, right? Oh, this is just for the previous like year, guys. Look how they're how, look how they're slowly selling. They can't all sell just before the Black Swan event, right? They have to slowly start selling, uh, so nobody catches on. Now check this out, guys. So we basically got confirmed. We were the only first people. We were the only people who say to this the first time, right? The first people whoever whoever said this, guys. Now check this out. Harry Dent, founder of HS Dent Investment Management, says he believes there will be a 98% crash in Nvidia. Nvidia 92% drop in Nasdaq. What? He also says there will be a financial crash of a lifetime within months, and the S&P 500 will drop to $2,500. So this person is calling for the collapse here, here in, in a couple months, guys. Right? I have been hearing a few people calling for the collapse, guys, but I don't think the collapse happens right now. Not at all, right? Though some people are starting to catch on, right? Now the collapse will take place with Nvidia probably dying, right? Who knows? But it's following Cisco over here. Now, I do want to state is that first things first, I'm most definitely bullish, guys, right? I still want to see this mid cycle point arrive, right? And, 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 and um, cryptos and stocks are, are are at their blow off top moment, right? Then we'll see the black swan and probably go higher later on, right? In the year 2025. So I still want to see this area or this portion come into play, guys, right? That blow off top. Now, how will we know we're getting closer and closer to a black swan event? Because from uh, from unusual bills breaking bipartisan a uh, group of senators is about to announce a deal on a congressional stock trading ban right look at that and look how many likes this tweet has right if we compare 28k likes to any of his uh, to any of his other tweets guys right 9k 1k right 2k 3k why am i comparing because this just means there's so many people that want um a ban right on congressional stock trading guys and people are advocating and, and pushing this agenda but little do they know is that when this happens guys it's game over right these people are out of the markets but we'll still be in so when are they going to do it well they're about to ban congress and other uh, government officials from trading stocks and force them to sell during this blow off top Right, you can't tell me this is a coincidence, guys. This is how we know we're getting closer to a Black Swan event, right? Now, we have a specific time frame, which the guy who, who predicted Donald Pump's ear, right? What happened with that Black Swan, small Black Swan event, or huge, I guess, um, is coming out, came out with another video talking about the next economic crisis, right? So we're going to tie everything together if possible, guys, but let's listen to this first truth is Congress should not be here to make a buck. Congress should be here to serve the American people. There is no reason why members of Congress ought to be profiting off of the information that only they get, that the rest of the American people don't get. And I don't care, even if you don't have so-called insider information or information not available to the public, why should members of Congress be spending their time day trading rather than... 
And you know what's funny about this? He's actually helping Congress instead of retail, right? Maybe retail, this helps retail in the long term, maybe in the short term, most definitely Congress wide. Because when, when this when this gets passed, right, and when, when, when they have to sell their stocks, they're now hedged in what Macy's dollars, right? Because the USD rises during recessions or collapses or anything, right? As a, a safety mechanism or as a hedge. Weird. Then focusing on the priorities that the American people sent us here to achieve and focus on. I mean, it's really simple and you don't have to explain it to anybody in America. The only people you have to explain it to are here in this building. The only people who don't seem to understand why stock trading should be banned are here in the Capitol. Every American gets it. And they're right to get it. There is no reason why the personal profit of members of Congress should come first. It should come last. It shouldn't be a consideration at all. And I'm proud to say I think this bill takes a giant step forward to getting to that place. I think it's a tough bill. I think it's a serious truth. Is a lot of people are getting fooled right now, right? But we won't. Why? Breaking a company called some company literally, I think, shorted um, the, the DJT guys, right? Before the event happened. Um, what do they know? that we didn't well they knew that this event was going to happen exactly and if they're going to ban themselves what do they know that we don't exactly another event is coming which is a black sun event a major one which will take the world by storm i mean this it gets crazier <laughs> this is a crazy video please like it please 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 and thank you watch this listen to this guys donald trump donald pump warns powell not to cut rates before the nacy's election right he's warning uh, jerome powell hey you better not cut rates. Um, if you do, I don't know, but you better you just better not cut rates right before I come into play. But little does he know is that the baton, right, the crash is going to blame, be blamed on Donald Pump. Historically, when the Federal Reserve cut rates, it hasn't been great for stocks. Will this time be different? Right, each time they cut rates, guys. What happened with the stock markets? 41 minus 41 percent minus 55 percent minus 24 percent the next one is imminent right that one actually swept that low maybe what's going to happen this time right maybe sweep these lows and we go higher because of the money printing after this event is done and over with exactly right so supposedly they're going to cut rates during when september guys right so we still have some time left it seems as and usually there's like a one to two month delay afterwards as well on average s p 500 has fallen 23 percent over a period of 195 days from the first federal reserve cut to the market low right and they begin cutting in september it's guaranteed at this point right until something breaks tomorrow maybe they'll cut sooner guys but history repeats because this is the federal funds rates guys right and each time it was at a it was at a high I had a, at a high percent all these black swans occurred all of them right and this one just happened last year right what's going to come next there's 100% going to be another black swan guys look it's always tied in right with the federal reserve rate cuts don't you guys see because something breaks within the economy and, and then they, they, they cut the rates too late, guys. Which means a double-digit correction is coming for stocks, guys. Right, so they're warning people already beforehand. No one else called it except us. A big change could come to the Nacy's economy in September as well, guys. We well, look at that, right? When? September. You don't say. But he, here is something crazier. So this person predicted Donald Pump's Black Swan events, guys, that happened recently. And now he's calling for everything the Lord told me about the economic collapse on America. Right, so there, he, he specifically states a month. Listen very carefully, please like today's video, and let's go. A lot of people wanted to know about the economic crisis that I saw coming. I believe it happens at the uh, beginning of next year, going into, and that's why some people say, that's what I saw, that it, there, it was in the winter months whenever this cr crash happens. So will it happen this year or will it happen next year? All I know is that when you're seeing in the spirit, you see in part, you hear in part. N that's so weird. Literally Big Short the other day tweeted about December is, is is a powerful month to reverse years of whatever, right? Weird. Maybe it's December, right? I don't know, but it seems like the baton will be will be passed um, impeccable will be passed beautifully, and it, it will be blamed on Donald Pump, right? The crash that's incoming, the black swan, and he's going to probably print and make everything rise back again. But I don't know. Th things are getting crazy here, guys. You know, and, and a day is like a thousand years to the Lord, okay? So when you're seeing this, you think it's imminent, it could happen right now. But it may be two years down the road, three years. Uh, but I believe it's something that's going to happen quickly, okay? Because that's what I was, but that's what I was showing. So nobody said, well, you missed it. No, it's still going to happen. There is a planned, it is a planned economic collapse. I saw a damn. 
Oh, I just realized a collapse. He's talking about a collapse, guys, not a black sun event, right? We we were the first people who actually stated this, and we didn't have no visions, nothing, guys, right? This was many years ago, but I do first believe there were may there may be a black sun events before we see the actual collapse, right? That's just my opinion. This isn't financial advice. Let's go. Full of a um of like all kinds of uh, like bad things. It would look like sludge. It was all kinds. I saw barrels and they had writing on the side of them. And it said uh, about finances, bank collapse, bank uh, structure meltdown. It was all kinds of like big 50 gallon drums. This is interesting because I've never shared this before. I, it, was a, it was a dam, it looked like a Hoover dam and it had uh, water, of course, but it wasn't water. It looked like nasty, swampy, muddy looking thick water. It was gross. And there were 50 gallon drums balancing up and down in that sludge. And they had written on them uh, like economic crisis, it had uh, like like I'm saying, um, dollar crash, things like that, and they were written on the barrels, and it was all being contained by this dam. And the Lord said they're holding back all that until the election is over, and when that is over, oh my lord, oh my lord, we just called it, guys, until the election is over, right? Big short stated winter, December, shall we say? Interesting, guys. Weird, if you ask me. Something's most definitely brewing. Again, let the blow off top commence. We get out, we buy back in at the lows, and we ride this damn thing towards the collapse. Not beneath your let's go. Over, it will be released. That's what I saw. And I saw that damn break, and it flooded upon the American soil. And all those 50 gallon drums fell and rolled down. It was like a toxic waste is what it looked like rolling down out of that big dam. And so like I said, I've never shared that publicly. So there you go, guys, right? It's that clear. Something's most definitely brewing. Why? Even this indicator from Warren Buffett hits hits 195%, uh, guys, the highest level in history, surpassing the dot-com bubble, the global financial crisis, and the 2022 bear market, right? The uncharted waters were, were right at, guys. Right, look at that. We're actually... Yeah, this is crazy. Most definitely, guys. Um... Again, each time it has happened in the past, at these high levels, a black zone occurred afterwards. I'm pretty sure that was the, you guys know, invasion, right? So, the two countries, guys. So, there you guys go. This isn't financial advice, but I do believe something is most definitely brewing, to say the least, guys. And let's see what happens next, right? Um, I didn't buy uh, XRP here. Maybe I, ho I hope it comes back down a little bit. But I guess we'll see. Who knows what, ha what happens next, but I'm pretty sure we have them. We hit the timeline and said, "Not nah, beneath your face on the scope." What is that? So face, See ya.